perianal rash is chemical, second is lactose intolerance. So if you have perianal rash, you must do stool for reducing substances. If reducing substances are present, that means glucose is present. That means it's lactose intolerance. Your treatment would be to stop milk. So whenever you see that, please do a stool examination. Just don't stop milk. It may be chem chemical diarrhea and you just ended up stopping milk. So first do a stool. Whenever you ask for stool routine, ask them to do reducing substance also. And you check for that. Now treatment. Treatment is something that uh, really is out of the window. Treatment is symptomatic and specific. Symptomatic treatment is ORS, zinc, probiotic. Now, nowadays people prescribe Jessica doctor. Now whether there is actually a role of that will come to that. But your basic treatment is going to be ORS, zinc, maybe probiotic. Home-based ORS, all of us are aware how to prepare it. One glass of water, two teaspoons of sugar, one pinch of salt. That's your home-based ORS. They can take dal, dal water, rice water, chash, coconut water, soup, rindu honey. They cannot take tea, coffee, apple juice, orange juice, any fruit juices, any cola. Why these are contraindicated is because they contain lot of sugar. And sugar can itself cause osmotic diarrhea. So try them, tell them not to have tea, coffee, sugar, fruit juices, cola, all that. And continue regular feeding. So that is what is going to be your mainstay of treatment of any diarrhea. Coconut Coconut water, water will be safe? Yeah, coconut water can be safe. Traditionally, apple juice. Apple juice is absolutely contraindicated because it is highest content of glucose. So you should not be given that. Coconut water in olden days used to be given inside the intravenous pools. I mean, before we even had those bottles. Uh, so, yeah, so one Jackie Chan movie, they've actually shown him getting a coconut and putting an apple So coconut water can be used. Now, drink has been extensively uh, researched and has been found that it actually decreases the duration of diarrhea. So, if a patient had diarrhea, say, and which would have gone on for five days, it would have come down to four days. So, it actually decreases the duration of diarrhea. And some children tend to get diarrhea very frequently. So, it actually prevents recurrences of diarrhea because of the <coughs> Dose is 20 mg a day for 14 days. So, that's the standard dose that you're supposed to use. Probiotics. Lots of them, the most common probiotic that we are using is curd. So if your child can take curd, that's the best home-based uh, probiotic that you can use. Now what is a probiotic? Probiotic is actually a bacteria. These are good bacteria. They don't get <coughs> wrong. They remain in the intestine. And they prevent the bad bacteria from multiplying. So they replace the bad bacteria with the good bacteria. So that's how they, how they help. And uh, they are most useful for viral diarrhea and antibiotic associated diarrhea. So these are the times when you can actually use a probiotic. There are several probiotics available in the market. Only thing is you have to be careful about the dose. There are certain specific doses that you are supposed to use. It is in million units per colony forming unit. So that whatever they mention is for this age group you have to give 1 dB. Then you have to give it 1 dB. You can't play with the dose. Specific treatment, organisms, dysentery. Treatment is O-processing. Or what you find is working in your area. So then if you find cefixin is working, you can use cefixin. If you find cotrimoxazole is working, you can use that. So whatever is working in your area, you can use. We have been using o and we have got good results. Duration is 5 to 7 days. Amibiasis, metronidazole is the drug of choice. Cholera, doxycycline in adults, whereas in children, erythromycin is the drug of choice for cholera. So any child less than 8 years, you can use erythromycin. Cryptosporidiosis, treatment is metazoxanide. That's a new molecule that is in metazoxanide. That's the only time when you will use this molecule, metazoxanide, for cryptosporidia. GRDS is metronidazole for 10 days. Now, the best way of doing this is preventing this by boiling and filtering and uh, rotaviral vaccine. Now, this is one case. All the cases that I am presenting to you are actual cases. These are not made up cases. These are actual cases that we have been seeing. This is a 15 month old girl. She presented with watery diarrhea for past 5 days. No dehydration, no fever, vomiting, pain in abdomen. Drink tap water, has a perianal rash. Systemic examination, normal she's an otherwise healthy, well nourished child. So, what are we thinking of? Maybe viral diarrhea and maybe perianal rash is chemical rash. Could be lactose intolerance because she's been having diarrhea for 5 days. 
तो वायरल डायरिया लेक्टोजिन प्रॉब्लम का है तो सेल्फ लिमिटिंग बैक्टीरिया और स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रियल डायरिया मैनेजमेंट ओ आर एल बिन प्रोबायोटिक्स एंड चेक द स्टूल फॉर लैक्टोजिन प्रॉब्लम स्टूल शो नो ऑर्गेनिजिंग Thank you. 